The pandemic for two years made us realize that life is too short. Too short for what ifs and buts, and too short to sacrifice time with people we love. On the day Ben and I recovered from COVID, we booked a last minute ticket to Bangkok to spend five whole days with my siblings. Finally, after two long years, we are finally traveling together again. Good morning guys, so it is our day, I think it's our day two, but it's gonna be our first full day here in Bangkok and we are actually going to be meeting Bernice and Alf in the mall, I think it's gonna be in Central World, it's about two minutes from where they're staying and we are going to have lunch. Anyway, so we'll just plan it out, but we are going to just spend the whole day in the mall and it's funny because of course the first place we're gonna go to is the mall. Anyway, I'm gonna show you guys my outfit. I'm just gonna be putting it together and of course I'm gonna take you guys with me. I think all we're gonna do today is eat. So I made sure that all I brought are comfortable clothes that I can hide my food belly in. So this is my outfit. So it's raining outside today. That's why I opted for a jacket and I think we're just gonna be indoors the whole time. So just a t-shirt with a skirt. All matching tie bro, we're twins. This is gonna be my bag and just my white Prada shoes. So let's go! So now we're in a grab and we're on our way to meet Bernice. But I'm actually gonna be using the Realme 9. It's my new phone and I'm gonna test it out here in Bangkok and let's see how it takes photos. I didn't even bring my big camera. All I brought is this one and my GoPro just for all the mukbangs we're gonna do. <laughs> in Cob Clau Cla, something like that. It's a Thai restaurant here in Central Embassy. And I hope my audio is good, guys. I just brought a GoPro. Sabi ni Ben, I don't know if you guys heard that. He's the patient. Kasi may gout siya. And this is the bodyguard. Grabe naman, babe, yung bodyguard mo. Marami pa siyang kakainin sa'yo, babe. Well, we have to feed him. Lagi. I just can't be just your son. So trying this Mickey Run. So it's a milk tea place and then it's just in the middle of the mall. And you just wait for the milk tea here in this conveyor belt. So cool. A taste test. It's good. Good. But for the price, this is about like almost 400 pesos, not 350. You're paying for the experience. Yeah, you're paying for the experience, but it's good. Still think about. Welcome to the sandal world, Al. <laughs> See, look, I look weird. Wow. <laughs> you guys are so cute. I look so weird. Cute. It's comfy. Super comfy. And guys, the best thing is, it's yeah. rubber. Okay. Of rubber. We can really use as a beach. So cute. Welcome to the boys' so waiting area. <laughs> Just you and me in time to kill my first kiss. I didn't know what come. Okay guys, so we found this place near CM Paragon and it's like 200 baht for this. And super cute ng selection niya. The material, it's thick. And thick. It's inner pack. Nice! So from Central World, we're now heading to the Airbnb of Bernice and Alf. And the reason for that is Bernice and I have a deadline tomorrow for a brand. So we have to shoot that first while the boys rest. And then maybe like have dinner out or sure maybe grab a drink later because the boys would want that. And 
right now it's maybe like a two minute walk from central embassy so it's really really convenient for them but they were telling us a super traffic load to sa Bangkok so it's better to either walk or take the BTS so the BTS guys it's not Bangtang <laughs> if you guys are wondering I think it's the Bangkok train station that's what it means please correct me if I'm wrong okay so we are back in the hotel so Verdi's Alf and Bernon they joined Alf's parents for dinner but we decided to eat in the hotel okay. instead okay. I got pang akong patient <laughs> so anyway I'm so proud of him though he actually did 7,000 steps today despite his gout that's trying hard anyway I'm going to show you guys what I bought today not much but it's out the back yes survive day one Charot. anyway so first let's go with clothes that I got near Paragon if you guys want earlier in the vlog there were like stores with maybe affordable clothes so anyway this one is 580 baht and actually it's from 750 and then I ko siya ng till 580 so this one blazer and it comes with shorts as well so it's free size I'm sure it will fit me it's garterized so it's safe then here so it's a colorful kind of coordinate so it comes with shorts as well and this one so it comes with a blazer there you go so it's just like cute matchy matchy coordinate that I could wear in Cebu so fits just like an easy going outfit so there this one is 690. I think I got this the same. Mga 580 cushion na kuha. Then we passed by Lawson, so it's right in front of our hotel. And Ben and I just got snacks. So we'll do a mukbang later if we decide to eat it. This one is just like a corn snack. Next is this lace extra barbecue. I don't think we have this flavor back home, so I wanted to try it. Oh, here. So I really love Sour Candy and they have a Trolley Dino Rex one. There you go. So last one is these Hershey Nuggets and Creamy Yogurt. Oh my god, I hate yogurt. I thought it was like white chocolate. And last but not least, I actually got swimsuit from Burberry. I think it's this, almost the same price as Manila. Or besides, it's a little bit cheaper than Singapore from the prices of Singapore. But I really want to collect from each brand and Burberry is a brand I don't have a swimsuit from yet and I just got their classic print there. So I wanted a 1C just so it's future proof just in case I gain weight or if I lose weight hopefully. <laughs> but feeling good the way we eat here we're right on the different track. <laughs> So there, that's what I bought today. I think we're just gonna be sleeping tonight and then tomorrow. I'm not sure where we're going, but it, it depends where they want to eat or go. So that's it. Good night, guys. See you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. So just got ready for a day again. And guess where we're going? To the mall again. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, I think that's the best tourist attraction here in Thailand, which is just a mall. But we're going to be checking out Emporium today because yesterday we went to... Where did we go yesterday? Paragon? We went to Central Embassy. So I think it's time to check out another mall. I think it's endless list of malls here in Thailand. So just take your pick. But don't worry guys, I know you're waiting for like street food, you're waiting for night market, you're waiting for chatu chak. We will get there, but the start first. We'll go to places that are near our hotels and Airbnb first. So anyway, I'm gonna show you guys my outfit. So I made sure that the real me night is the star of my outfit. So you guys can see how pretty the color is. It's like yellow, it's so cute. Look at that, it's my favorite color if you guys don't notice it yet. I have so much items in my closet that are this color to the point that I actually bought a yellow Remoa. I made sure that it will pop my outfit. So just wear denim with like this top from Dior that I'm just repeating that I got in Singapore. Wear my backpack and just a hat. Anyway, I'm gonna show you guys something. Look at these two judging me. <laughs> They were just judging me the whole freaking time. They were like, Okay, cut. What uh, the take, heck? Okay, so anyway, we're off to the mall and we'll take you with us. Bye. Stupid jokes, both of us wishing we were all right then. Because we knew it was love. 
Okay, so we just arrived here in the Emporium. So now we're heading to the food hall. Because I saw online that it's a print of food court here. So finally, we are going to try whatever is in the vlogs. Because all the vlogs would always say to eat in food courts. Let's see if the hype is real. about 170 pesos because it's a hundred baht and this is what they got they also ordered chicken satay this one how much 450 450 it's really that's really good for all of us so this is 60 baht and then this is a hundred baht god it's so cheap i'm japanese now guys because i don't want to get sick of thai food once we get to the street food part of our trip okay so i always see this in vlogs so let's try it great a trick the bread niya kasi ay yung crab is sweet tapos savory yung top So I'm back in the hotel room the boys actually went ahead earlier because I really wanted to go around that mall because I don't want to go back there like after one mall I don't want us to repeat it again because there are endless malls here in BKK but anyway I'm gonna show you guys what I bought so here I got makeup from Sephora it was so funny guys so we lang kami sa area where all the designer items are and then I was like Oh, like, is this is it. I thought it was just like a mall for designer items and a department store. And when I went to Building B, that was where Sephora was, that's where all the perfumes were, that's where... There was even this area where it was all Thai designers. It was really nice. I wanted to buy items, but I couldn't fit them because it was just like a bazaar thing when there's so much people trying on clothes, so... I didn't want to buy something that I couldn't fit. Anyway, so that's the building where I found Sephora. It's also the same building where H&M is, Zara, Uniqlo, and etc. I'll show you guys what I got. I have just two makeup products. It's by Tarte C. It's supposed to be like their vegan, cruelty-free line. And I love their concealer, so I wanted to try this line of theirs. I was going to buy, that's actually why I went to Sephora, because I wanted to try Rare Beauty, but I thought of just trying this instead. So it's supposed to be lightweight, so I feel like this one would fit the humidity we have back home more. So here is just their Hydro Flex. This is my shade in the concealer that they carry. So I got the same shade as well. This is supposed to be a Hydro Flex Foundation Serum Tint. So I just got a small bottle because so that I can just try it. And when I'm happy with it, maybe if I travel later this year, then I'll just buy again. Then this one is Peach Sunset. It's just this blush that in this really pretty color, it's like a coral shade. There, oh, it's so cute. Okay, there. Super love the color. Don't know if you guys can see it with this light, but it's nice. Anyway, I'm home because we are going to get ready for dinner. We have dinner with Alf's parents in Gaa. Gaa, I think. If you guys are familiar with Gagan, that's like, it was awarded the best restaurant in Asia for a couple of years, but right now they're closed. So their sous chef or the brother or something, I don't know cheese miss search it i'll just google it later make sure i'll make sure to google it before we get to the place pasta like it's connected so it's gagan and then this is gaa so it's supposed to be like a 20 course meal or 15 course meal that we're gonna be trying so we really made sure to walk a lot today so that we have space for that restaurant so i'm just gonna get ready the boys are just chilling and i'll show you guys my outfit when i'm done let me just relax first because my god guys, I think how many steps did we do today? Well I had 7,870 steps. So anyway, chill first. Chill first guys. <laughs> 
Okay guys, so I am back in the hotel room and finally I've showered after that really long morning in Platinum. If you guys have been there, you would know how huge that place is. It's about like five or six floors or maybe even seven. Hanggang third floor lang ako guys. And then right when I was going around the third floor, I really felt like I was going to faint anytime because I was so dizzy. I felt like I was so dehydrated and my allergies from I think post-COVID started to act up. That's why, like, I had to go home. So Vernice is still there. She's still going around. Anyway, you guys have to watch out for the Bangkok haul that Bernice and I will do. And then you guys will see all the pieces there. Anyway, now I'm all dressed up. We're about to leave for Paragon because the last time we were there, we didn't get to really go around. So that's why we're heading there today. I think Ben is feeling a lot better. And then all we've been really doing is just eating, as you guys can see from the dinner that we had with Alf's family. Last night, we finally tried fine dining, we've tried food court food, and then- Oh, today we're going to try Paragon's food court too, because we watch good reviews about it, so we're heading there later. Hopefully, I can finally try mango sticky rice there. That's what I think haven't tried yet so far. Anyway, just like as usual here in Wife Life, I'm going to show you my outfit. Okay, since we're just going around the mall today, I didn't bother fixing my hair. I just put on sun tinted sunblock and just a blush on and lipstick. That's it. Then I just I'm wearing denim shorts with this Burberry swimsuit that I actually bought here. So let's go. Let's head to Paragon. Let's check what we can get, Yaya yeah, yeah, baby. It's the BTS coffee check-in. So let's see. Oh my gosh, ma ang si Yaya baby dere. Oh, they're still building it. <laughs> Yaya yeah, baby. Wow, another side of Bangkok I haven't. Seen. Okay, so we're gonna check out a place where we can get stuff for Yaya Baby. This is like a big K-pop place. Hello, can you babe this? <laughs> there, this is him. That's him. This is who Baby wants. Jimin. She has that now. Is this BTS? Ah, yeah. How about a bag? Maybe like this uh, BTS bag. Can you know? There, oh. she like that. Alcohol. Oh, there, perfect. And that's why I'm gonna take a chance. See that, please take my head out on the floor. There's something I want more than to offer you this dance. With every smile, you got me wishing. I'll never be sorry, I'm my reach. With every move, you've got me dreaming. Who you and I could be. If there was ever a love that felt so perfect. Is that an influencer in the wild? <laughs> Hi, my friend. Fiance, Hello, fiance. Instagram fiance. Right now we're in Siam Paragon and we are in the food court and I was researching online that Tipsama is actually one of the best bad guys here in Bangkok. Okay, so we found another one in the Michelin Guide here in Thailand. So Ben is gonna try their chicken. Hopefully it's good and the hype is real. I can't believe this is just in the middle of the food court. I don't know what you call it. Go Ang Pratinam Chicken Rice. So let's see. I know a girl who's so fine, she's running laps around my heart. Let's see if it's worth it. Look 
look at the price. Good morning guys. It is our last full day here in Bangkok and we are meeting Vernice and Alf in Foodland. I'm not sure if I had enough videos to put it on this vlog but yep, I'm not really hungover but I'm just Wait. a cop boy. <laughs> Kaya. I got back. <laughs> it was getting better. Right? And then, no, and I think it was the seafood that we ate last but night. But it was so good. It like, was so good. The best seafood. Yeah. One of the best seafood ever good. tasted. If I didn't have gout, I would have killed the crab. The crab, not the so crab, good. Crab, the crayfish, everything. So good. so good. You, bro, are you hungover? No, I just need a lot of food. Just need food. But, yep, that's our day. Then I think we're gonna head to the market and we're going to buy fruit so we can bring it home to Ben's mom, our mom, and then what else are we doing today? And finally, street food for dinner because we haven't had street food, like legit street food here in Bangkok because I know you, that's what you guys want to see here on this vlog. Anyway, once again, we are testing this baby out, the real Me 9, and today I'm going to take all my photos today using this phone. So let's try it out. What is this? Rice coffee. Have you vlogged about this? This is a different coffee for you to try. It's also good. Nice for your packaging. Yeah. Nice for your store. Oh my god, much needed coffee. Because this girl is. Be amazing. Be amazing for Yeah, coming here today. Sad day. Sad. Sad day, so we need more caffeine. Okay, so Vern got typical Americano and I got, of course, flat white yet again. I want Vern to try different, different coffee. coffee naman. It's good! Whoa. It's good, no? It's are yummy. And it's strong. Good! You know guys, in Bangkok, the reason why Bernice and I love it here because the cafes are so nice. Like, they really make sure to spend on interior. And you know what? Why we also like it here? I think it's the same price as Manila. Um, yeah, Almost. but food cheaper? is cheaper. Food is cheaper, but the coffee shops na yung mga yeah. aesthetic. It's cheaper. Cheaper, cheaper also. Here. Americano is like 150 pesos. Starbucks. Yeah. Is it? And then your flat white is a hundred baht with oat with oat milk option. Hundred twenty. We love Bangkok. We love Bangkok, guys. Surprisingly, we're well, getting we older now. Talaga. No? All we wanna do is like shop, eat, eat and eat, eat and eat. I don't think we never went to a tourist place. No, we haven't gone to a tourist place this trip. No, but you guys know me, pa talaga. Ako nga parang I've already been here for what eleven days and. Once pala ako nakapunta sa museum. Good job, girl. I'm sure Alf is happy. <laughs> Not for long! Okay, so sharing with you guys my outfit for today. So this is just a top from Batman Studio. Guys, I'm bloated again because of my period. I'm sure you guys noticed that like a few days ago, I was, I looked okay. And now, I'm bloated. Do you find me bloated? Never bloated. Diba? Never bloated. Jude! <laughs> uh, Describe my outfit. I love it. It's so nice. Can you guys please tell her to wear like this? All the time. Shorts. This Zara skirt, this bag, and just rubber shoes. Okay, so now we're heading to a shatik. A shatik red room. Yes. We're going to a Shatik market to finally try street food and see what the fuss is all about. Hey guys, so we finally made it to a Shatik. So of all the vlogs we've seen, always lang sa Shatu Chak or Central World for street food. So Bernice and I wanted to show you guys another place that's similar as well, but at least it's something new for you guys to watch. So right now we're in a Shatik and Alf said there's street food here, there's also market, and right now that's what we see. Girl, you know you got me dreaming. We could be driving fast with your feet on the dash, you're riding by my side, leaving all our fears in the past. And any way you wanna see what we could be on the map, it's only you and me, nothing to prove for me. Yeah. All my life I knew she's my baby. I can't hide it, making me crazy. Sometimes I close my eyes and dream about when we met in high school. And I've been trying to tell her this lately. She's more by the rock in the 80s. I think about it 
my gosh, guys, it's here. We found it. So there's silkworm. Ano to? Something. Oh my god, this one. Bamboo. <gasps> there's beetles lava. And there's like cricket there. Oh my gosh, we got the goods. <laughs> so this is pork. Mm. So soft. Oh, you have 10? Fresh beer. Glowing 